I think that the barriers to breaking into Hollywood have changed tremendously since I got here. And, you know, that's only 1990 is when I got here. The threshold was, how do you get someone to read your screenplay? That was one threshold. The other one would be, how do you get someone to watch your short film? Uh, both those things were really hard to do. It wasn't like you could send someone a link to see your short film. It wasn't like you could post something that you had written online. None of those things existed. Um, you pretty much had to find a way into the system, and it usually had to do with personal contacts and living in Los Angeles and knowing people who knew people, etc. Right when I got out of college, my writing partner and I wrote a script in seven days um, about a giant rat in Central Park, which we thought was the best idea for a movie and really funny and really scary. And um, it was pretty stupid. I remember one guy telling me, this is a terrible thing to show people if you want to get anywhere in Hollywood. And I had this flash of embarrassment of, what am I doing? Our second script we were a lot smarter about. We wrote it and thought, this isn't good enough. We should write a third one. And that ended up being Last Action Arrow. A whole bunch of us all at the same time called the same agent saying, you should really read the script. And uh, that was enough to get our foot in the door because we knew a whole bunch of assistants. So rather than it being the classic Hollywood story of someone important kind of plucks you out of the pile and says, hey, let's listen to this guy. It was much more us using a group of our very low level connections in a concerted fashion. That's something that doesn't always work, but it worked pretty well for us. Choosing what to work on as a writer or as a director, um, or for that matter, as a producer or as an actor, all of those involve different thought processes. The simple matter is, in terms of writing, I usually pick a project that appeals to me, you know, on some sort of gut level. I say, God, I'd like to write about that. Um, sometimes it's not even that conscious. It's something will come to me and I can't get it out of my head. So I go out and see if somebody will pay me to do it or if I have to go do it myself or what, you know, the, the process becomes, here's the thing I got to do. The only question is, how am I going to do it? Filmmaker is an organization that is devoted to giving a space to emerging filmmakers to show their wares, if you will, uh, a place where people who don't otherwise have a leg up in the industry or haven't already gotten somewhere uh, can take films that they've made and post them and show them and get feedback from their peers and compete for something. When you talk about a process as complicated as filmmaking, it's a lot harder to self-motivate when there's no goal in sight, when it's just, hey, I really want to make this, so I'll go make it. It's a little bit easier when you have a rabbit chasing in front of you that you're trying to grab. You know, the most important aspect of submitting any kind of creative material to anyone is mentally preparing yourself for their response and being open to it. Because the hardest thing in the world is to put your soul into something and then to have it be criticized. But that criticism is often the most valuable thing you'll ever hear. So you have to find a way to be open to it. Um, and uh, if you can do that, that's probably 90% of the preparation that you need um, before you get involved with something like this.